Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of August 31st, 2020. I am Russ and as I keep saying, I get to be your news reporter for today. And look, even my logo on my shirt. Well, okay, it's not my shirt, but it's made by someone with the same name. Let's see here. The Republicans are compromising on the stimulus package negotiations and are willing to go up to $1.3 trillion. And the Democrats are willing to compromise and spend. Wow, says they're willing. To, oh yeah, that's right. They're willing to compromise and spend less. But we don't know the, what their less is. Their less is two point two trillion dollars. We are just waiting for the Senate to come back from their vacation so they can actually negotiate this stimulus package. And six states have begun issuing the executive order for the extended unemployment um, but regarding the stimulus checks and the stimulus packages the Republicans are now willing to increase their demands to 3.3 trillion dollars Mark Meadows says that Nancy Pelosi leader of the Democrats of the House of Representatives would not give him details on what she wants in their version of the stimulus package in fact, I got a little picture here that I'm going to show you guys so, to give you an idea of what's going on. I mean, uh, as far as the whole negotiation thing between the money and what's going on. So, I'll just look at that really quickly and I'll be right back. And Mark Meadows actually said on Sunday that's, that Pelosi did not want to disclose information on her ver their version of the $2.2 trillion stimulus bill. So basically at this current time it still has no name and it still has no details. Meadows also said that most of the $1.3 trillion that they are giving in their stimulus package includes most of the programs that the Democrats are asking for. But apparently not all of the programs they're asking for. Pelosi says she refuses to, she refused the Republicans' offer because it falls short of what Americans need. And, and this coming from a woman that basically when it came to voting the USPS Bill into Act or the Delivering for America Act, as it's really called, refused to add stimulus checks or extended unemployment to it. They like said we're just waiting on the details. Well, we're basically waiting on the details for the Republican skinny bill, the five hundred billion dollar bill that they're trying to get passed. We don't know no details on that one, not even a name. And as of Friday, six states have started to pay out on the executive order for extended unemployment. These states are Arizona, Louisiana, Missouri, Montana, Tennessee, Tex and Texas. California says that they are beginning to process the payments, the, the process of big payments next week. These funds are expected to last three weeks at minimum, six weeks at maximum, or when the, the FEMA funds are depleted. So basically, uh, I don't, uh, I don't know why they couldn't have passed a extended unemployment bill in the USPS bill and why Nancy Pelosi kept refusing that one as well as second stimulus checks because not everyone is going to be able to get unemployment and because there's a lot of people out there that have applied and have not qualified for it and a stimulus check would really help them out at this present time and as far as Mark Meadows goes and he, him and Pelosi are always putting fingers at each other and they're actually knocking at each other I mean, so far, they should actually be getting on Mitch McConnell's butt because he hasn't shown up since his, January, his July recess. He wrote his version of the stimulus package, which was basically the Heals Act, which was not passed at all. And he did it behind closed doors. Isn't that nice of him? And he wouldn't let any of the details out until after the House representatives came back from their vacation. 
And like I said, he stayed behind for his vac- his July vacation to do this his version of the bill. And now Nancy Pelosi is staying behind from her vacation for this month to do her version of the bill. But yeah, she won't give the Republicans or even the people themselves any idea of what is in this stimulus package. All I got to say is that she, if, if it's approved, they should basically give stimulus checks for the people who actually, you know, get them like, like last one, the CARES Act. Leave the same at $75,000 for singles, 150 for married, and also dependents. And then they should also include in extended unemployment, more pay tech protection money for the small businesses that need it. As well as, what is it here? Oh yeah, hazard pay for essential workers. Because I have said in multiple my videos that I happen to be one of many essential workers. And I do know that we are probably being very, very unappreciated by our government. But this is just my opinion. You're welcome to comment below to if you actually think that the essential employees should actually get hazard pay or not. And I will reply to your comments as fast as I get them. But like I said, I am Russ, and this is the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of Monday, August 31st, 2020. I will broadcast a new month for you tomorrow, since tomorrow is the first of a new month. <laughs> so until then, you guys have a great Monday, and have a very happy and safe evening. Until, until then, bye.